Hey, hello. It's uh, Sunday the 22nd of August and an en route to the uh, Laugh Island Bus Museum again. So I was there yesterday, I done a lot of filming for you. And I'm just I'm on the way up the road, uh, up the, the M90 motorway. Come off at Junction 4. We're heading for the southbound to the M90. So come off at Junction 4 and head for the M90 Commerce Park where the Latham and Bus Museum is. So, this is Alan's uh, Volvo Olympian. That's what it, well, they got me on yesterday. Uh, it's got the Cummins 9.6 diesel engine. It's ex Lothian. Lothian in Edinburgh, by the way. That's Lothian buses in Ed Edinburgh. So, it's well preserved, this one. Matthew's bus is up ahead there. That's the one up in front and over to us. Right, so when I get there, I'll get the some pictures and cameras and uh, videos for you as well. Okay. Right, so that's his, the Lathamon Museum again. Uh, Sunday today. It's the uh, 22nd of August. So I'm going to have a look around. Uh, I'll take some more videos and that for you. Pictures of the various various buses as well. Bus <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll see what I could show you today. Uh, see if there's any tours or whatever. You know, the camera. I'm not my breakfast yet, so I'm a bit sleepy. I didn't get that much sleep. <laughs> so I'll maybe get some lunch. And early days yet. Right, I'll show you what I'll show you what I'm going to post up. I'll get the camera when I feel like it. Just stick it on here for you, okay? I'm just on the uh, route master bus. I'm going to have a wee run on that. That's inside the cab. I think it's pre select years on this. I'll have a shot in this one as well now. It's uh, Albion, I think. So this is a manual one. Uh, I think it'll be a crash gearbox or something, I'm not sure. So that one I came off of earlier, that was the Root Master. That red one just... That's the one that I just come off with. So I'm going away to get myself on this one here. We run to Dunfermline and back. It's a popular bus. <laughs> Oh, that's why I was easy, that's why I made you go and take the speed to the main path. 
Deck of that bus, the Leyland bus. Oh, Leyland. It's a bat loader, but the uh, doors are closed. They're, they've actually got doors that close, not like the open loader, open bat loader like the Route Master. This is actually a bat loader with the the doors, but they're manually operated. They're not pneumatically operated. If the driver's got to, not the driver, but the conductor's got to pull the doors shut. Unlike the Route Master, which is just an open. Loader. So this is obviously better for like keeping the drafts out in the winter. So we'll just leave them firm on bus station, heading for the Lath Hammond. You can see the seat layout. There's the aisle in there. It's a step dial, and then the staircase is just down there. Back at the museum now. That was the bus that I just came off of. Uh, so I've just written on that. Yeah, so it's turned out quite a nice day now. Um, didn't expect it to be so, so bright. <laughs> so, just back now at the, the museum and you know, just have a look around and just grab pictures and that. Some more of the old buses. Great fun. So, right, I'll, I'll just keep on filming and snapping photos for you. Okay. Blue, double deck. Alexander's Guy Arrow, 1948, fine vehicle, uh, belongs, belongs, but it was new to this area, so it's uh, very much a genuine five bus. And I'm going to give this one a shot to Dunferman and back. The Furman service is the uh, 1952 Leyland Royal Tiger, body built by Alexander's at Sterling. Um, nice big. Heavy, 41-seat coach. 1952. Nice and, sorry, nice and luxurious inside this one. It's uh, Alexander Royal Tiger coach.
de traer día. Aquí es más que la Right. You're going fast. Oh, I see. I can't it. That's right. It's a manual. Coach. Gear stick. Look at the steering wheel. Oh, it's comfort. 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 It's Quite a chore because there's no power steering on these buses. So I was climbing up the hill. So quite a steep hole for a big vehicle. Yeah, they may have So that was the one that just came off. Hello. 
is very comfortable. Considering it's 1953, actually. 1953. So, 68-year-old bus, our coach. Rob Wales and Mar 2 coming in. It's uh, East Kilbride one. My favourite model of us is the Volvo Elsa's. So Dundee had a lot of Volvo Elsa's of different generations. My favourite was the 36 to 50 fleet. It looked different from that, the, the Alexander RV type bodywork, the, the overall favourites of mine, but that one there is an Alexander AV type bodywork. The Volvo Elsa Mark II chassis. So I'm going back in to Dunfermline now, to, we're going for a meal and a pint and so I've met up with the others that are going and I think, maybe not, no that's internal service, I thought that could have been it, no, so I'll just wait and see what turns up for that. So this is Edinburgh's Lothian Transports, a uh, big Volvo, it's a uh, big triaxle. It's actually got an 8 litre engine in it, but that's all it is. But it's a very powerful engine, it's a Volvo B8L specific model. It's obviously done up in the, the zoo livery, Edinburgh zoo livery. As a stagecoach, uh, plastic body, I think that's a Volvo B11 there. Now this bus come in here could be the one that we're getting to go over to Dibferman for our uh, spot lunch. <laughs> pint of pie. <laughs> I don't know, got a pint and a meal anyway, we're going to go to one of the bars just opposite the bus station. I think that might be it, I'm not sure if that's going to be doing a Dibferman or not. It doesn't seem to be. I'll just wait and see. I'll roll the camera as soon as I know. I'm wondering if that's it there. This is coming in. The Alexander. Uh, Alexander buses. I'll find out in a minute. Yeah, here it is. It's the Alexander Guy Arab. Sorry, it's Alexander Company, bus company, and the model is uh, Guy Arab. So Guy's a manufacturer, Arab's a model. Of it. It's uh, Guy Arab with W Alexander and Sons, Walter Alexander and Sons. That's the bus company. They actually, Walter Alexander, based in Falk, have made the uh, double decks. Yeah, 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 and fine. Yeah, I've got one actually. Uh, I've, I've been travelling that much. I've got about half a dozen of them in my pocket. <laughs> so we'll just make it one. So we're upstairs on this one, it's not quite as comfortable as that luxury coach, it's wooden bench seats upstairs, downstairs is the brown seats, the... so it's right on one, I think they'll leave it a quarter to one, so not quite so comfortable this one. So we're just upstairs on this, just about to leave my farm and bus museum heading for uh, Dunfermline again. It's going to be a bumpy ride. So this is off in the museum. We're only doing about five, three mile an hour and it's bumpy already. Very hard seats.
So behind me here is one of the elches that are going to be going out onto the Dunfermline one. It leaves at quarter to four. So I'm going to make sure that I don't miss a trip on this one. It is the Volvo Elche, just a second. What bag is it? Yep, it's a V Reds Volvo Elche. Just getting the preparations done for it just now. Central Scotland, yeah. AH 23 is fleet number. So, yeah. so that's my favourite model of bus. It's one of the Mark IIs. My favourite is the 36 to 50 fleet, uh, Alexander RV type bodies at Tayside, Dundee. But that's the Alexander body AV type uh, Mark II. Well, well, it's a slightly different body one. But it is uh, an Elsie nonetheless, so I'll get you a better picture of that and I'll be filming on site so you get to hear it as well. So I've got just enough battery left to get the uh, sample of this bus and that'll probably be doing for the, for the day for the filming because I've not got much battery left. So I've kind of reserved it for this one. Gearbox is under there, engine's under that pod there at the front. The prop shaft runs from the engine to the gearbox and then it goes from the prop, shorter prop shaft from the gearbox to the back actually. That's where the diff, the uh, shock absorbers are. It's a hammer the rear axle, so it's a low floor. It doesn't have any obtrusions on the floor because it's a drop center reduction actually. So we're just going to the uh, center. Uh, Centre uh, control room is where they do the ticket. It's a privilege to get on an earlier, got an earlier before everybody else. Seen in an Elsa fan, a big Elsa fan. I've got a friend that really likes to sit in this seat. This is a view that he would really appreciate, so... You'll know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, my friend will know exactly... You'll know who exactly I'm on about. You'll know who I'm talking about. This is his favourite seat. Although it'll be more familiar view for him. Looking out that way, obviously the camera's quite backwards. It's obviously the upper deck, so we're going to maybe be back down again before it gets busy. Mm. So it's just turning in the pick up. So it's just loaded up just now, it's going to get really busy. So.
Eastern. Oh, just heading back to La Farman though. Dunferman and back on the Volvo Ilse Mark II. So I'll have to stay right on until I get part of it again. But it's nearly the end of the day now, but it's, it's after 4 o'clock, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much the end of the day. Mark Norris, get your last one on the Ilse. Yeah, I'm going to miss that. So, just doing the, doing the, the, the museum now. That's pretty much it for this one. Enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Right, so that's the Elsa that was just off of there. Uh, yep, very, very nice. Enjoyed myself. I think that's it. I'll we'll just sort of wind the video in a bulk here because that's like getting on for half four. It's got everybody sort of like just sort of unwinding, going away to start heading for home. So I really enjoyed myself, it's been really good. If you say I recommend coming to La Flamme, even if it's just for a day out, if you're not necessarily into buses, but I mean, uh, there's a lot to see. I mean, there is a stall shed up there, there's cafes, uh, toilets, you can spend all day here, you can even camp the night. It's, it's a day out. You've got the miniature railway as well, just there. Stuff for the kids to do. Now, this isn't the busiest year, by the way, this is 2021. So, usually it's a lot busier, there's a lot more activities and that. But, um, a lot more stalls outside, there's more for the kids and that like, you know. But the, you know, 2021, there wasn't even anything last year. <laughs> well, lucky we even got something this year, like, to be honest, no, nobody was really sure what was, what was going to happen this year. So, but it turned out okay, like, but, uh, yeah, if, next year it might be, hopefully, uh, even busier. Yeah. But there was only the one Elsa that went out and that was that one. That made my day, that made my weekend. That was a highlight of my weekend because the Elsa buses is the type of bus that's in my area, that's what I grew up with. Although that isn't a Dundee one, it's the same model. Um, thoroughly enjoyed that. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye now.